Like obviously, last night was a difficult night for everybody. What what sort of is the reset looking like for you guys right now coming in today? Yeah, I think a lot of honest conversations uh, has been kind of had here in the last uh, few hours or so. Um, yeah, um, you know, it's it's important that we we take a good look at our team and where we're at as a team, as individuals, and and uh, are honest with each other about where we're at today and. And uh, I think that was a, it was a good day today for us. Uh, you know, talk it through, go and, and work hard out there uh, in practice, and and uh, not accept uh, how things are going right now. And, and um, you know, also just you know, uh, we're lucky that we have Thanksgiving today. Mm-hmm. I think that it's a it's a perfect way to kind of get away uh, of your you know your own head and enjoy people that are important to you, and and uh, just have a little bit of fun today. Uh, in your own way, and, and then come back tomorrow and, and be ready to win a hockey game. I know you know no one's ever going to divulge everything that you know you guys talk about, but when you say some of those honest conversations, can you share a little bit about what that means to you? Yeah, um, it's just just kind of realizing that we we're we're not playing the game the right way. We're, we've been arrogant and not respecting the game, um, and it's cost us. And it's a realization of uh, when we're playing well. Uh, you know, shortlist example, Pittsburgh, when we play the right way, no matter who's in and who's out of the lineup, what kind of team we can be. And when we don't, then we're, we're just not where we want to be. Uh, you know, even going back last year, when we played our best games against uh, the best teams, uh, you know, that's how, how it looks. It looks like a team game and where then individuals take over at certain times and and so uh, that's a big part of it. I'm sure there were some very honest and difficult conversations amongst this team today, especially after what happened last night. Yeah, that was uh, basically unacceptable how we played. So I think uh, we came in and we tried to hash things out. Uh, we had a couple meetings to try to figure out um, where we got to go from here. And uh, and I'm encouraged about it. So uh, I liked our practice and we just got to get back down to playing the right way, uh, taking care of our own end first, and then and I, I've said it for a lot is a long time is that the better you play defensively, the better, more chance you get offensively. But right now, it's we're trying to create offense out of everything, and you got to kind of take care of your house, home base first, and then go forward. So, uh, just little things like that. One of the things that you and I talked a lot about last year is the idea of what accountability means to yourself, to the team. How much does that really need to be dug deep into right now? Yeah. For sure. I mean, at the end of the game, you got to be able to look at your mirror and look at yourself in the mirror and see how you feel. And uh, that person will tell you in that mirror will tell you if you if you came and brought it and, and left everything out there and, and played the right way. And um, I think one of the big areas is, is we just can't cheat the game. Um, and uh, when we get back to playing good defensively and, and, and then it allows us to show our skill later on but uh, right now we're just trying to tiptoe our way around and it's, uh, it's not working. You know uh, obviously having those conversations amongst yourselves with the coaching staff you don't want to divulge exactly what was said but what what sort of is the feeling when you guys are able to stand up to each other and, and have these difficult conversations? Yeah I think in any business you need to have these hard conversations to figure out how to uh, excel and, and and grow and uh, I thought what we did today was good I think I think it was very productive um, and then I'm a firm believer talk is cheap so you can say all the right things but you got to go out and do it and um, it'll be uh, I'm excited for the game to see how we how we react and and the resilience in this room and I saw it I've seen it last year I know what we have so um, I think we just have to get everybody on the same page pulling the same rope and um, we'll get this thing back in the right direction. Does that make it all the more frustrating knowing when you saw it last year and it's a lot of the same guys? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure frustrating is the right word, but um, f- for sure when you know you can do it, um, like almost disappointed in yourself a little bit, but uh, it also there's encouragement there too because you know you can and throughout a season there's going to be adversity I've never been in a season where you haven't and the best teams I've been a part have had great adversity and 
Um, a lot of that starts with injuries and, and, and just the way you play. So we've kind of been battle-tested at that already. And um, if we can kind of correct this as soon as possible because I, we've talked about the points here are, are, are crucial for the end of the year. Um, I think this is just going to set us up and kind of get this club moving in the right direction. Andy, talking to some guys in the locker room, I think one of the things they really let on is that today was about difficult but important and productive conversations. Would you agree with that? Yeah, you know, we had uh, some hard conversations about, you know, where our game is at as a team. Uh, we've talked all along about being uh, committed, about being connected, uh, you know, doing the right thing with the, with the puck when you're under pressure, when you, when you have leads. Um, so we went back to a lot of plays in last night's game. We, we talked about what, uh, what needs to be corrected and where we need to go from here. Does that fall into the category of accountability, not just to yourself, but to the teammate standing, skating next to you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're accountable, accountable to the whole team. I mean, you can have bad plays. It, it's how you're going to react after that bad play. Um, you know, can a teammate help you out, bail you out? Uh, you can have a bad read. This is what this game, there's enough mistakes inside the game. It's some of our self-inflicted puck management mistakes that, you know, last night cost us dearly. One of the things you said last night that I want a little clarification on is you said courage. We need to have a little courage when it comes to getting out of it. What did you mean by that? Uh, just the fact that there's a lot of different places you have to show that. Courage is, is blocking shots. Courage is getting in and taking a hit to protect a puck. Uh, courage is uh, the willingness to to dig in and back check when maybe you think you're tired. Um, there's all kinds of levels of courage inside the game that uh, you have to experience. You have to be, and I used it last year, you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Uh, and as a group, uh, you know, I think we we didn't really respond to the adversity we had in the game. Uh, one play led to one more bad play, which led to another one, and we took ourselves right out of the game. Did you like the response in practice today to the meetings? You've I thought we had a, real, a really good uh, skate. You know, we wanted to keep it short. Obviously, we're three yeah. games in four nights, uh, but yeah, the drills were about competing. Uh, the willingness, the courage to get under people, to get in, to get into people, to to win your battles. Uh, a lot of those one-on-one -on -one battles. I mean, the the whole game is about in the offensive zone beating your guy to the net, and defensive zone is not letting them get to the net. Uh, and sometimes that's it's a different type for every player. A uh, small player has to use leverage and in, in getting under sticks. A big player maybe can knock a guy in his ass. Thank you, I, you know, I think when we've only played three games in eight days that uh, there are some things that we just needed to come and flush out of our system so we'd be ready for tomorrow.